Right, we love the socials. <laughs> you know who I'm gonna say loves it the most, right? You know, am I gonna say? There he is, Hashim Amla. <laughs> absolutely loves it. Yeah, send us your questions, Hashim Amla. He'll answer all of them. Loves. He absolutely loves to answer them as well. Right, this is a question that's asked. Listen, and don't you worry. I'm going straight to him first. Are the Proteas batting frailties over the last five years a result of inadequate planning? And in brackets there, has grooming players from a first-class level and SAA? Are there a lack of world-class players in the domestic scene or the inability to step up when it matters most? And I'm assuming when it matters most is at test level, right? It's a, it's a nice question. It's a, it's a good question. And we did answer that on the actual show. Wake up and smell the cricket. So you might want to catch that on repeat. You know, uh, in depth. Pretty much the whole show was about that. However, guys, to add on to the question, I suppose to try and answer the question is to say, how can the system produce batters that will? How can it improve the batters so that they will be able to step up? Mr. Socials, over to you. Yeah, Pomi, just to offer something maybe that we didn't speak about is because we're having this concerns about batting first-class cricket and in, in our test team for the last couple of years, um, maybe an idea for Enoch Inque, who's our uh, director of cricket, is to, to start a type of, uh, to maybe brainstorm some systems or some programs of bringing the first-class batters together and linking it up with some uh, experienced coaches and experienced test batters or first-class batters to kind of create a, you know, open line of communication to speed up the process of, of, of learning about the art of batting. Um, this might be a good opportunity. I mean, we saw with England, they were going through a tough time in their test cricket. They've employed... I uh, mean, Robert Key, who, you know, we didn't speak about, but the reason they probably, it became easy to get Brendan McCullum is because they had someone like Robert Key involved. And he came in and he said, you know what, I'll, I'm happy to go rogue on the traditional test system of having a bat. I want to employ this guy mm. because I'm seeing him as a bit of a maverick. And what's the worst thing that happened? You know what I mean? I'm going to be going to go uh, through the wall on this idea and this is run with it, which has worked for them. So I wonder if South African cricket we are in a similar situation where we're saying, you know what, let's just develop these systems. Let's go with it for a while and let's see how much of improvement we can get. I, th I thought you were going to say program exchange program. Oh. Well, that's well, that, what I thought you were well, going to say. In, 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 yeah. in, in the answer earlier, it was about trying to get our batters to play about a county cricket. Mm, mm. Um, get a, you know, six or seven county games along, alongside or sorry, in between uh, the off-season here because I think that definitely will help them uh, learn the art. It's about learning the art. Yeah. You're never going to be perfecting the art. It's about keep learning the art of batting. Uh, so when you have these foreign conditions, you're a bit more comfortable. Come on, Hirsch. How? How? How is it going to happen? Tell me. Okay, I wish I had an answer for you. <laughs> but I think, I think, yeah, Ash has made a good point there. I think it's a, it's a good idea. Um, you know, I think there's obviously a lot of experience that they can that they can fall on mm -hmm. with regards to mindset, you know, technical, uh, technical ability, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I keep saying, you go look at the, you know, the standard of the bowlers. Um, we came through hard schools. I mean, you know, to, at, and it built our character, you know, that resistance. We, had, we knew there were other guys that were making big runs consistently. Um, and you had to, you know, you had to harden up and, and front up and, and uh, you know, just get out there and do the hard yards. Um, I'm not too sure if we have that sort of character anymore in, with regards to our batters. You know, do the guys actually, do they just want to get there or do they actually want to do the hard yards um, and go through all the next necessary um, characteristics and make up a complete batsman? And we're not talking just specifically one format batsman. We're talking, you know, all the yeah, complete, yeah, yeah. complete batsman. Yeah. Um, and if we didn't have that, that hard, you know, the, the bowlers that we needed, that we faced um, going through the system, 
you know, that may, it hardens you up. You know, um, I don't know how what how more to 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 explain it. Um, and Australia, like I say, Australia, India, they produce they the guys get big runs in their first class system, big runs, and they and they stay hungry. You know, they keep wanting more runs, more runs. I don't know if we we have that sort of mentality. Um, if the guys are getting it too easy, you know, we we did the hard yards. We had to, you know, go out there and do the dirty work, you know, to in order to to be ready for international cricket. I don't know. I can't explain it better than that. Yeah, no, I, I like what you're saying. I like what you're saying. It's just, I mean, like, India the guys get three hundreds there, mm. three hundreds. You know, we have one man that got the hundred, three hundred, and it test level for us. But there in domestic, I see him and Jadeja yeah. the other day got. 300. Mm -hmm. Jadeja you know, in India, in his first class, I think his average is 50 plus in first yeah, class cricket, which is as a batsman. A and he's a, yeah, we had a discussion the other day on the podcast about how important it is for batters to get hundreds. Mm -hmm. And there was a, a discussion going on that as long as we keep winning as far as the test is concerned, it's not important for the batters to get hundred. I mean, I can't understand the mentality behind that. Um, Someone said that? Yeah. Well, you said it the other day. We had a discussion with the fee sale the other day, you yeah. know, and I mean, as a batsman, if you're not getting hundreds, you know, what is the point? So that's why you bat, right, Ash? Mm. You bat to get 100. That's, and I, you bowl to take five wickets. That's kind of how and, it goes, right? And batsmen, I keep saying, I mean, batsmen set, you, set games up, not the bowlers. Mm. So that is why it's important that batters get hundreds. Mm. Um, it's, it's as simple as that. What are you offering me here, Ash? And... I know it's kind of been said here, and is there is there the desire? I suppose is the question as well. Um, when you throw everything into there, if we do nothing about the system to try and create guys who or give guys a chance to play as much as possible to become good Test players and so forth, uh, then that's a problem in terms of the system. But let's also look at players and say, do the players want to, you know, graft like like Hirsch says and and do the learning like, um, like um, Hash is saying with regard to hard yards, long time, many things to try and work through and keep working and learning for a really long time to one day become um, closer to what is a finished article and ready to take up the test further up. Do you guys have the desire or, or not? I think it's a pertinent question. Um, I'm going to ask does CSA have the desire? You know, is, Fair enough. is there a desire from CSA to be a, a force in test match cricket? Mm. Um, do we fight hard to get more test matches when we go to these ICC future tours programming meetings mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be? And then, you know, if the world is all saying to sustain our cricket, we need T20, more T20, then it seems as if every board just wants T20 gigs so that they can make more money and then test cricket is going to suffer. Mm. I believe that there are individuals who want to be complete batters, who want to be able to play test cricket, one day cricket and T20 cricket. So Herschel's asking the question, are the guys prepared to do the graft? If I can say, as a, the, the space that you want to be in, in general as a test match, bat, uh, test match batsman, the space that you want to be in is to know that regardless of where South Africa is going to play next, whether it's in the subcontinent, Australia, England, South Africa, where the conditions are all very different, that I have the game to be able to, one, stay at the crease. Two, find a single. Because in India, it can be hard to find a single boy when the ball starts spinning. <laughs> <laughs> we, laugh, we laugh because I think everyone appreciates oh, exactly, yeah, exactly what that means. It's easier to hit a four. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind the yeah. four. Yeah. It's easier. Yeah. Well, Sometimes it's easier to hit a four. One. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it's easier to hit the four, <laughs> run down the wicket, smack one. You know, you get enough batman that it goes away for four. <laughs> the skill to get that single is a lot harder sometimes. So the hard yards that he's talking about, we need to break it down so that people understand what they are. So it's not just, I'm going to the, to the nets and I'm hitting a thousand balls. Because if you're just going to the nets, hitting a thousand balls on the same conditions, mm. like an like a indoor surface, for instance, or a outdoor surface, an outdoor surface that is similar to an indoor surface, hard, firm, true, the ball's not gonna move around, nip around, whatever the case may be, and I'm hitting a thousand balls, you're just getting better at the same thing. Mm. 
So you have to get better at different things. You have to be able to stay in versus a left arm spinner, versus an off spinner. When the ball is spinning out of the foot marks, when the ball is going sliding straight onto your pads. So it's how many different challenges can we expose our batters to. So this is our group of batters that we feel is the next best. Let's get them skilled in as many different conditions as we can. And we used to have the spin camps going to, uh, to India. And what Hashim is saying, try and get more of our guys into the county system. Because the county system, actually over the course of the season, it challenges you in a lot of different ways. You're going on a slow pitch that's a little nibbler. And the 120 guy who's just there on the spot, he tests your forward defense and your technique. Then you can be in a dry summer where the ball starts spinning and the spinners can test your technique. And then on one or two pitches, maybe at the oval when it has pace, you can have one or two guys bow quick and bow short at you. So you're getting tested in a variety of, of different skill sets. So it's not just about being able to churn out runs at Centurion Park on a flat pitch, which, yes, when it gets to day four and five, when the cracks open up, it's hard to bat. But Centurion Park is is a pretty easy pitch to bat on most of the time, if we're honest with ourselves. In South Africa, for me, it was the easiest place to bat. You know, yes, the, these guys facing the new ball, it will seem around a little bit. After lunch on day one, it's the best place in the world to bat. You know, and we cannot just have a game that is built around the place where we play most of the time. So if we stand at the Wanderers on off stump and we leave the ball because it's bouncing over the top of the stumps all the time, it's fine. But when you're playing in India and the ball is going to crash into your stumps, you need to be leg side of the ball. And it's all of that understanding. So batting can be really simple. Stay there, stay there for four hours and you'll have a hundred. Really simple. And the really sort of um, more, in, more, not intense, intricate. but like an intricate. more intricate way of thinking about it is, one, understanding my strength, my weaknesses. Two, understanding how that bowling attack is going to try and and expose my strengths, or, or my weaknesses rather, how they're gonna tie. And then three, I know this opposition, this bowler is gonna try and do this at me, and I know how I'm gonna negate that. So that is the more intricate part of, of batting, versus if I just stay here for four hours, I'm gonna have 100, but how? Mm -hmm. And it's that understanding, that how, that I don't think we spend enough time talking about, and possibly talking to the right people about. You know? it's, a bit, it's a pity we don't have a little indication of where the youngsters are at with regards to our first class cricket. And it would be nice to put this question to Mr. Not Mr. Master Devil Brevis yeah. and the Tristan Stubbs. Mm. They might have a different, you know, complete different answer altogether. Mm. So it's it's not it's not nice to see that the standards of our batting can't be maintained. Because we we proud batters. I mean, you know, we we did the hard yards, and you know, we're proud of obviously of our numbers, and we want to see that number stay up. So, the things that need to be addressed, and 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 rather quickly. <clears throat> so, I hope that we've answered the question. Here's what I think, though. I think that the very fact that the question can be asked, the very fact that there can be discussion about it is the beginning point. The action part, well, that's not really up to us. As Ashwell said, do Cricket South Africa want to be a force to be reckoned with in terms of test match cricket? Because if that's put on as, you know, as far as emphasis is concerned, then something will be done. Perhaps you can kind of see where you're going.